programs continue working on crane section of the 108. We've made it through the first 10 moves in detail. I think we previewed, or we may have gone over the next three moves, but we will go over those again today. And then those three moves are gonna be the same on the other side. So it shouldn't be too difficult to learn, but let's go ahead and we're gonna start from the beginning. Let's start with the five animal salute, actually. Attention stance, stand tall. Five animal salute. Two tigers hide their trail. Step back with your right foot. Have your fist up on your chest. Cross right over left. Circle out, double back fist. Hard and soft. Chamber your hands, crane walking. You should be in a horse stance. And then we're gonna shift into a bow's descending arm, hand and waist. Push out with your left hand. Right hand is blocking. One finger asks a question. Step back with your left, crane wing punching. Outside block and grab with your right. Fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft. Crane walking. Remember you should be in a horse and then we're gonna shift into a bows. Descending arm, hand and waist. One finger asks a question. Step back with your right. Crane wing punching. Outside block and grab with your left. Fist through the sleeve. Feet together. All right, let's review that two more times before we take a look at our new moves. So we'll just start from the end of return horse to stable. This is the end of tiger section. Hard and soft. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand, and waist. Step back with your left. Oops, sorry. One finger asks a question. Now step back with your left. Crane wing punching. Outside block and grab with your right. Fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand, and waist. Now you should be pushing out with your right blocking with your left. One finger asks the question. Step back with your right. Crane wing punching. Outside block and grab. Fist through the sleeve. Feet together. One last time together. Hard and soft. Crane walking, descending arm, hand, and waist. One finger asks a question. Crane wing punching, fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft. Crane walking, descending arm, hand, and waist. One finger asks a question. Crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. Now these are our new moves. We're going to inside block with our right hand as we step in with our right. Peck out with our left hand. A crane pecking. Then we're going to set our right foot down. Inside block with our left. Step forward into a left cat stance. Peck out with your right, revive the crane. Set your left foot down, pick up your right knee, flying crane. This time our hands are in crane wing, and feet together. All right, I want you to go ahead, try that on your own two or three times, and then we'll look more at our new moves.
right, so hopefully you were able to get through at least the first 10 moves. So through this, through the sleeve. Uh, if not, that's okay, because we're still learning. And remember, this is something that we usually only learn in the advanced class. So you guys are getting a sneak peek, a preview of what we're gonna do once you're in the advanced class. But it's okay if it's hard or difficult to pick up. Uh, it does take some practice, especially with our crazy stepping and whatnot. So you'll get there, just keep practicing. But we're going to just pick up from the end where we're fist through the sleeve. So we pushed out with our left fist and then we're going to inside block with our right as we step in to a right crab stance. Peck out with the left. Set your right foot down. Inside block with the left. Step forward with the left and peck out with the right. That is a crane pecking and revive the crane. Set your left foot down, lift up your right knee, flying crane. Let's just do those three moves again. So just starting from fist through the sleeve, inside block, peck out, a crane pecking, Set your foot down, inside block, peck out, revive the crane. Set your left foot down, flying crane. Our next move, we're just going to bring our crane beak up right in front of us. Left one is a little bit lower than the right. Turn towards the camera so you can see. So from flying crane, we're going to go hungry crane. <laughs> Stands on one leg. <coughs> and then we're going to reach back with our right and our left, our right foot and our left hand. And then we're going to bring them forward. We're going to strike our right foot with our left hand. Set our left, set our right foot down. Come down and then up with crane beat. Hungry Crane Capture Trip. All right, so let's start from fist through the sleeve. And then we're gonna go a crane pecking, revive the crane, flying crane. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Right should be a little bit above the left. Make sure you're not extending your arms out. You wanna keep a bend to them. Reach back with your right foot in your left hand. Strike your right foot as you come down and then come up with crane beaks. Hungry crane capture shrimp. Keep together. All right, let's try that together. One more time. So start fist through the sleeve. Your left hand should be out. A crane pecking. Revive the crane. Flying crane. Right knee should be up. Reach back with your right foot and your left hand. Hungry crane. Capture shrimp. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So let's just pre do that. So we're going to step up and raise our left knee. Flying crane. And we're going to go hungry crane stands on one leg. Reach back with your left foot and right hand. Strike your foot down and come up with crane beaks. Hungry crane, capture shrimp. Feet together. All right, that's all the time that we have for our black sash training today. Let's go ahead and do our light skill. The path of self-mastery requires a creative spirit. 
a created spirit has no self-doubt. The path of self-mastery requires a created spirit. A created spirit has no self-doubt. The path of self-mastery requires a created spirit. A created spirit has no self-doubt. Thank you.